What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on this Wednesday, May 25th date. 2022 is the date about uh, 6.59 p.m. here along the West Coast where it's uh, hit 105 today. A little activity showing up on the station there on the seismograph around that Leah Permanent. That's out there on the Big Island of Hawaii. Kicking up there a little bit of uh, activity over the last 24 hours. We are seeing a little activity into the Alaska region also kind of picking up and uh, just kind of uh, been somewhat of a busy day up there as well. Stand by for just a second here. I'll get this all kicked up here. Just one of those days. I think it's the heat getting to me. Definitely. I believe it's the heat. All right. Let's go ahead and check out the latest map here on the USGS side showing that activity kicking up throughout the central part of the, uh, well, looks like the central Middle America Trench here. Seeing quite a few fives and some fours kicking off here over the last 24 hours. Uh, most of the activity, as far as globally goes, seems to uh, be uh, right around the West Coast region. Uh, looks like the San Andreas Fault here, just south of the San Jose region. A little small earthquake here. We'll go ahead and pull up the all magnitudes map and get a little bit better picture of the activity that's been kicking up in the Southern California region, Santa Clarita area, seeing a little swarming just off of the San Andreas fault system here. A little small microquake swarm also up north of the Lancaster area and some movement up and down the San Jacinto fault area. Uh, a little cluster, a little clusters of microquakes. It looks like up and down the area, including right around the Mexicali area where we got a little swarming, happening there you can obviously see that 14 earthquakes or so within this region pretty shallow and uh, looks like most of it there below the 2.5 threshold so a little bit of activity here in the southern part of the state also around the Brawley seismic zone all showing some activity over the last 24 hours uh, let's see what else we got uh, Ridgecrest and the Long Valley Super Volcano all showing a little heightened microquake activity today and movement outside of Tonopah, Nevada. One earthquake here in the Antelope Valley area. Looks like within the last hour, 8.9. And uh, let's see what we got here for the swarm outside of the Pyramid Lake region. This kind of been kicking up earlier today. So far we got about, uh, well, looks like about 45 earthquakes or so within this region of the Pyramid Lake, Nevada area. And uh, still getting some variables on the depth of the uh, depths here of these earthquakes. Only seen two earthquakes here at 2.5 and above, but the depths roughly right around 12 kilometers and much shallower. So a little uncertain on the outcome or the possibility of this. Uh, it's possible the swarm could just disappear or possibly could be leading uh, to something maybe possibly a little bit uh, bigger. So we'll see how uh, see that see how that plays out in the uh, coming hours and days here. Northern California got one earthquake outside of the Greenville area, Taylorsville looks like California 1.0. Nothing showing up on the Cascadia subduction zone as far as the surface level goes. Movement throughout the Cascades uh, kept to a minimal as far as least at least the USGS reporting goes. Uh, up and down the uh, Rocky Mountains area, some movement around the, it uh, looks like Yellowstone National Park up through Montana. Just a couple small microquakes. We'll go ahead and check out the movement here at Yellowstone real quick. See if we got anything to chat about. And it doesn't look like a whole lot. I'm seeing what this here is. Possibly, looks like possibly some wind event over here. Because uh, it's definitely showing up on quite a few stations uh, throughout the western portion here. Looks like around the Horse Butte and the Hebgen Lake area. All showing just a little bit of activity kicking up. But I believe it's some type of weather event. Either way, I will watch that closely. Earthquake activity has been confined here down to the south. A couple of small microquakes kicking up uh, within the region. Otherwise, not a whole lot happening there at Yellowstone today. Western Texas, right around the Pecos, Texas area. Guadalupe Peak, a couple twos and some threes uh, in the mix of that area. 
nothing really over the course well from this morning's uh, update haven't seen any further activity here around the uh, new madrid zone or the eastern part of the country all this earthquake here is older and uh, still very small in that uh, microquake department same with the puerto rico area not a whole lot of new movement to report here uh, throughout the afternoon time frame south america awfully quiet as well uh, the big island like we've seen on the seismograph stations did show some movement out here some very small microquakes kicking up on the board but uh, I, I firmly believe these guys aren't showing the total amount of microquakes out here either on the map uh, just by judging the uh, microquakes that we see coming in to the seismographs uh, one earthquake here 2.0 well off the coast of hawaii Looks like 16, uh, 16 kilometers or so below the surface for that earthquake. Western Pacific has tapered down pretty quietly. Not a whole lot going on here through Japan area. Only a couple small quakes. Looks like uh, did have a 4.2. This one was late last night. Looks like the newest activity has been confined here to the Samoa and the Tonga region with a 4.6 and a 5.0 in this area. One of those deep at 112 kilometers. Uh, one earthquake way off the Java Trench from earlier this morning out in the Indian Ocean. And aside from that, man, there's just not, not a whole lot of movement taking place here throughout the afternoon time frame. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map along the Cascadia subduction zone where we're looking at, again, another significant night of trimmer. 600, almost 600 epicenters of trimmer into the area of uh, mainly uh, Washington, it looks like parts of Oregon and Northern California as well. Uh, still pretty well broad, uh, pretty broad area of activity kicking up. And uh, looking at probably well over, I'm gonna go back here since about the 1st of May and check out the total tally. You can see the, uh, most of it kind of kicked in here around Wednesday the 11th. And then uh, we've kind of been seeing this up and down pattern there of uh, activity. Uh, 6,151 epicenters of trimmer. And uh, that's kind of a pretty good number there for just, oh, what, 25 days or so over the last three weeks. Pretty significant number, I would say. And uh, we'll watch it pretty closely. It appears that it may be going down a little bit. We're, tonight's activity was just... Uh, uh, a little bit less than what we had seen the uh, previous night, previous couple nights. Uh, those were all over 600 epicenters. So 592, still a pretty good number of trimmers throughout the day today. Uh, Mount St. Helens, we'll go ahead and jump in over here real quick and see what uh, is going on throughout the area. Up at the Dome Station and uh yeah look at that still seeing some activity here folks that's definitely a well-defined earthquake at mount st helens again a couple of them throughout the afternoon morning time frame so uh um, yeah it's it's still ongoing we'll go ahead and back out of here and uh see what else we got here around the three or uh newberry volcano check out this area real quick and see if we have any subsequent activity kicking up here tonight in terms of earthquake activity and doesn't look like a whole lot here over the last couple hours I know this region did see a couple small microquakes a couple days ago but otherwise uh, appears to be calming down slightly uh, looks like they may have had another one earlier this morning some s waves kicking off from somewhere not for sure exactly where that uh, where that earthquake was coming from looks like uh, somewhere around the 2140 UTC time but uh, not for sure 2140 I really don't see a whole lot of uh, uh, it could have been this one here it looks like the 5.5 down in Mexico at the 2140 UTC time frame so that's some of the S waves being picked up by uh, the Newberry volcano so apparently the sensitivity is um, accurate in terms of picking up uh, any movement, any type of microquakes there at uh, the volcano there in, in Oregon. Uh, earthquake scan to map. Let's see if we got anything kicking up here tonight in the area. Looks like, uh, wow, looks like the northern end of the Cascadia jumping 
pretty good tonight. I shouldn't say the Cascadia, but it's kind of west here of the Cascadia subduction zone. That's a blue line. This here is going to be the Pacific and the uh, kind of like right in the middle between the Explorer plate and the Juan de Fuca plate here, right in the bend area. So, uh, yeah, a couple small quakes there in the area. Looks like a 3.0, 3.2, and uh, I believe we've got another 3-pointer in there, 3.3. Couple other smaller quakes within that region over the last uh, 24 hours, so kicking up a little bit. Uh, 3.1 around the Port Hardy, BC area. Again, this is on the Pacific side of the plate boundary of the Explorer plate. That's uh, kind of bumping up pretty good there in that aspect of earthquakes. Um, let's see, I think that's uh, about it for earthquake movement. We did have, of course, a solar flare kickoff earlier. Today in M flare, and uh, that was from a uh, sunspot, which is now kind of facing away from Earth. 3016 got a couple of new developments kicking up around the bend, but aside from that, we're not looking at any significant flaring. These guys did bump it up a little bit to 10% for an X flare, 30% chance for an M flare, and 90% chance for a C flare. No major changes going on on the three day geomagnetic forecast, only a little heightened amplification of the KP index here around the three to four range, uh, looks like over the next couple nights. So we'll see how this plays out as time goes on, time marches on. All right, guys, I'm gonna bounce out of here, keep a little short tonight, and I uh, hope everyone enjoys their evening out there. Uh, there's a little another spike there on the Mount St. Helens area. See that little earthquake? Definitely getting some movement. I've uh, been also watching the area around Southern California uh, around Barrett has been showing some movement as well. Of course, the Alia permanent station here has shown some movement. That's on the Big Island of Hawaii. Uh, here is the Barrett station outside of San Diego to the northeast, showing some spikes, kind of like a little earthquake swarm, it looks like, occurring down in the Southern California region. So, we'll watch it, and we will be on here if anything uh, decides to pop off here. Aside from that, have a good night, folks, and stay safe out there. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.